Hey guys, recently I was at Rob's place and one of the cords from his lamp got stuck underneath his chair. It caused the cord to get cut and uh, the wires inside were exposed. While I was there, I fixed it for him and he said, why don't you make a video out of this just to show you guys how to fix it. It's a very simple thing you can do, especially those that are a little bit cautious about, you know, anything electrical. Uh, it's something that's safe to do and uh, real easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on what I have here and show you what you need to do. Okay guys, this is all you're going to need to fix your electrical cords on your left side of your screen. I have a two prong extension cord here. This could be for a lamp or any type of electrical device that has two prongs on it. I also have a three prong male end extension cord that has the ground on it. That's the third prong. We have the female end as well. And uh, any three of these uh, plugs can be found at your local hardware store like Lowe's, Home Depot. I got mine at True Value. This was only around five dollars. This is the three prong uh, male end plug and you can see it has the ground on it. Real easy to put that on. I'll show you how to do that. Another thing I recommend in a lot of my videos is having a pair of wire strippers. You probably don't need it particularly for this video. A utility knife would work just fine for what you need to do. And also you're going to need electrical tape. It comes in a variety of different colors so it can match uh, the wire that you're fixing. Alright, so let's zoom in on here so you can get to fixing your electrical cords. Okay, so first I'm going to remove the screw from the plug that we got from True Value. Just to loosen the screw that's at the top here. Real simple. And you'll see the inside of the plug. You just take the housing off, put it to the side here. And you'll see they make this kind of idi idiot proof. You'll see that there is a green screw here. This goes for the green or the ground. We have a brass or a silver screw. The silver screw will get your white wire, and the brass screw will get the black wire. So again, you'll have the brass screw with the black wire, the green screw gets your ground or the green wire, and the silver screw here gets the white wire. So they kind of, most plugs will be set up this way. If they are not, I'll show you on this extension cord what the plug configuration is. On the female plug, we have on the left side, you have your white wire, and on the right side you should have your black wire and then the ground would be down at the bottom here that would be the green wire so right black left white and at the bottom green on the male plug if you think about it if this is stretched out on the right side you would have your white wire because again it's stretched out if this is the white wire on the left here on the female be on the right on the male and then on the left side of the male plug you have your black wire because that would be on the outside here on the female plug when you're stretched out and then again the ground would be the green so just keep that keep that in mind just in case the plug that you get doesn't have uh, colored screws on it um, at least you'll know uh, which wire to place where alright guys so I'm going to get these out of the way and we're going to get the uh, surge protector that we're going to be fixing on this video so first I'm going to cut off the bad plug I'm going to do that by just cutting below where the uh, cut was that um, was damaging the plug to begin with. I'm just going to cut this off here. There, now that's off. If you look inside here, you should probably see a black, a white, and a green wire. So now I'm going to use my utility knife to strip this wire down so I can see the smaller wires inside. I'm going to cut about an inch down so that I have plenty of room for working later on. Okay, so I got it scored all the way around, made a cut all the way around, and now I'm just going to pull it off. Now you can see the internal screw, uh, wires. We have our white, our black, and our green. And now we're going to strip these wires as well. Same way, uh, for these though I'm going to use my wire strippers because the wires are a little bit smaller, it'll make it easier. Okay, so here I've already added the white wire to the silver screw, and now I'm going to add the black wire to the brass screw and the way that I do, I'm going to do this is I'm going to take the wire and place it inside the screw simply by just inserting it underneath the screw and I'm going to be placing it where as I tighten the screw clockwise it's going to be pulling the wire with it so I'm just going to tighten that now with the screwdriver make sure it's nice and uh, fastened down and then what you can do is you can loop it around underneath here. There's a little notch here that's in the brass uh, portion of the plug. It notches it down and keeps it nice and in position. And then I'm just going to connect the ground wire the same way. Again, on the top of the screw, place the ground. Just 
tighten it down very well and place the wire, catch it underneath that notch and that will help keep it in position. Make sure that none of these fray wires are sticking out. I probably would cut them off with some uh, scissors or with some wire cutters just so that there's no crosstalk between them. You don't want anything shorting out, especially with electricity. This is pretty serious stuff. So just try to make sure everything's neat and clean and make sure that nothing is that none of the wires are touching each other. Okay, that looks good to me. Next, I'm going to place the housing back over the wires. And then I'm going to add the screw to the plug. And there you go, I just added the screw to the plug and now this is connected to your, uh, this is to a surge protector, but this would be how you would fix it on anything. Make sure also they don't pull on this that much because again, remember it's just those screws holding it in together or holding it onto the plug. Alright, so next I'm going to show you how to fix a single or a two prong plug. Remember this had a cut in it uh, just in the middle of the plug here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this portion out and just put those two together and put some electrical tape on it and it'll be as good as new. So first before cutting anything I'm going to mark the wire. Being that the wire is the same color throughout it's hard to tell which is which. So I'm going to use a sharpie and just mark the one side of the wire. That way I know which one to connect it to uh, later after I cut it out. Just going to extend the mark a little bit out. I'm going to cut this bad portion out and uh, I'll reconnect it. So next I'm just going to cut this portion out. I'm only going to go a little bit out that way I don't waste too much wire. Okay so next now I'm going to split uh, each wire into their separate wires just simply by using a utility knife. I'm just going to split the wire in half where it normally would be split in half. I'm going to be taking around an inch again. Okay, so now they're split in half. I'm going to use the wire strippers to pull the wire uh, vinyl cover off. And remember to keep track of which is which, again, the one that's marked so that you don't mix them up. Okay, so next now I took off both, uh, I exposed the wires on the ones that we marked with the red sharpie. And I'm just going to twist them together. I only took around an inch, about a half inch off. I'll be twisting these together. And then try to push and keep it uh, as tight of a connection as possible. That way when you actually wrap it with electrical tape there won't be any sticking out. And then next I'm going to grab the white electrical tape that I had from before. Take a little piece of it and I'm just going to enclose the whole area with electrical tape. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Again just stripping the wire around a half inch down and connecting them again the same way. Now both wires are connected. I wrap both sides with uh, vinyl electrical tape. And now I'm just going to tape these all, both together at the same time to give it a nice clean finish. And there you go, I wrapped uh, the two prong electrical cord with the electrical tape. Now this is good to go. And we also added the three prong uh, plug to the end of this surge protector. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. If not, this is Rich's Methods. I will see you on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye.